Hi everyone. You might be wondering why my weekly update is happening on a Friday and that is because we have been waiting and uh, watching for government announcements because of the uncertainty around uh, the COVID uh, case count and the rise in numbers that's happening in our region. So our leadership has been meeting this week and making some decisions and then knowing that there was an announcement coming out today by the Ontario government we decided uh, that we would just wait to hear what they had to say and then put out a response to that. So that's what this is all about. We had already decided that we were cancelling our carol sing, which is happening tomorrow night, simply because of the rise in numbers. We were concerned about it. It also looks like the weather wasn't going to cooperate with us, but that wasn't the reason. Uh, it was more of just feeling like the responsible thing to do uh, would be to cancel that event. However, the Ontario government has announced today that we are moving to red, a red zone in Simcoe County with more restrictions. And as a leadership team uh, with prayer and uh, lots of discussion, we have decided that um, if that announcement came out today, we would immediately move to an online only format, which we were doing before September 13th. So including this Sunday, we will be moving to an online only format. If you were planning on coming in person, we are going to encourage you to stay home and to uh, join with us online. And we will make it a meaningful experience uh, as we uh, just stay at home and gather uh, together to keep centered on Jesus, but to do so from our homes. With that in mind, I want to highlight our Christmas Eve service. There has been a lot of work that's been put into our Christmas Eve online service. It is going to be a lovely, meaningful, uh, special experience that we encourage you to participate in for Christmas Eve. And uh, that will be very similar in some ways to what we would have been doing in person outside on Saturday with, with meaningful music. Uh, some special readings, and, and a very short uh, message about peace during this Christmas time. So here's what uh, I would encourage you to do kind of in response to this. It's been difficult for us to make this decision. We've done so prayerfully, knowing that what we feel is the most loving thing we could do is to, uh, to move back to meeting online. It's a way of being in solidarity with our community. We are not just a church in this community. We are a church uh, for our community and we are with our community. So we want to make sure that we partner with our community, doing what the mental health professionals or the, the health professionals have asked us to do, which is um, to restrict our gatherings and to abide by the government regulations to try to keep this down to a minimum. And, and we want to partner with them. I think of what the Apostle Paul once wrote when he said, um, you know, when he was talking about unity, and he, and he said, each of you should look out not only for your own interests, but also for the interests of others. And I like that because it's a reminder for us to not just look within and say, what is it that we think we want to do, but is when we do things, how does that impact uh, the people around us? And that's why we've made this decision to move back to an online only format. What we would ask you to do is to partner with us. Uh, let people know. Uh, if you're talking with someone who's a part of the New Life family, uh, just remind them, hey, don't forget this Sunday it's back to online um, and we're not meeting in person. Uh, also, invite people to check us out. Uh, some of your friends or neighbors, uh, we would just encourage you, um, let them know what's happening, particularly with our Christmas Eve service that will be online. Um, watch your inbox for emails and, uh, and announcements that are coming out from us. This won't be the only one. We are working, currently working on some other things, particularly heading into the new year, and we're excited about them. Um, and we're just, you know, looking at new ways that we can create a, a stronger sense of connection and a stronger sense of caring for one another in the midst of everything that's happening. And uh, you're partnering with us when you're paying attention to those, when you're sharing that stuff, following our social media feeds, um, checking out the, the website uh, regularly to see uh, any new things that are coming out that way. 
Some of you might have some questions or you might have some concerns or you might have some things that you want to share and I would encourage you to please uh, do so. Uh, you can email me, paul at newlifecollingwood.com or you could call the church office, uh, 445-5892 and with the prompts you can leave a message for me and I'd be happy to follow up with you uh, that way. So we... Uh, we're sorry to have to move to this way, and yet in other ways, uh, we know that um, it is just what we feel to be the right thing to do. And uh, we hope that you will feel that way as well. And um, if there are needs that you have, please uh, reach out. Uh, a lot of you have been receiving phone calls from us. We're just checking in on people. We're just working at ways in the midst of all of the COVID craziness to, to maintain connection, to maintain how we love one another, to maintain how we minister in our communities, in our neighborhoods, to the people around us. So we will see you this Sunday, Lord willing. Um, of course, it will be online. And until then, uh, I just wish you grace and peace in the Lord. And uh, when we gather this Sunday, we will do some looking at how we can experience joy in the midst of times like this. It's our Advent week number three, looking at joy and how joy comes uh, through the Lord. So until then, um, stay safe, stay warm. We'll see you Sunday. Grace and peace.